What is up, everybody? It is the Whizzler, and today I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different video. Um, today I would like to um, share my thoughts and open up a little bit of a discussion on the recent updates from Kabam. So let's get to it. I'm going to start by reading a forum post on the Kabam forums by Kabam Mike uh, from August 27th. It states, Hey, everybody. We're sorry that this update came as a surprise. The ability to chain into a heavy attack from a combo is not one that is intended for any champion. And we have never advertised it as one. In parentheses, it says, except for Wasp, who has a built-in short passive stun to ensure that she is able to do it. No champion should be able to combo into a heavy attack with a 100% reliability unless explicitly stated in their ability description. This was not something that was listed as an ability or an exception for She-Hulk. She was not built, tuned, or tested around this unintended interaction. This was identified as an issue and resolved. We apologize for the confusion caused by this interaction. Now I know that KT1 released a video earlier today sharing his thoughts, opinions, as well as very obvious evidence that uh, this next statement isn't actually true or factual at all. But I want to um, add to that a little bit. If you don't know who KT1 is, you need to get on that bandwagon. I will share a link to his channel below. Uh, but what I want to what I want to talk about is the last line of the first paragraph that Kabam Mike posted. It says no champion should be able to combo into a heavy attack with 100% reliability unless explicitly stated in their ability description. So let's take a look at a few different champions today. And I was racking my brain around this because I know I've done this before with champions other than Wasp. And I love Wasp. She's one of my favorite champions in this game. I love Ghost. I use her all the time. So thus, I use Wasp quite frequently. In fact, I ranked up my 5-star Wasp just because I love her so much and use her when I'm not using Ghost because of that unique ability, but she's not the only one. She really is not the only one that even has it as advertised. Now, it's it's not that it's as literally advertised as it is for Wasp, because let's be honest, you know, we might need the blocks that say A, B, C, and 1, 2, 3 on them according to Kabam's logic here, but a lot of other champions have the same mechanic built in as well. So let's do a little testing. I start with Taskmaster. For his heavy attacks, it states, if exploit weakness is on cooldown, the cooldown immediately ends and the target is set. If Taskmaster has triggered exploit weakness in the last one second, or his current exploit weakness is a heavy attack, he avoids any incoming attacks for the first one second of charging this attack. So what does that mean? Is that a direct correlation to Wasp's ability? No, it's not. Does that mean you can combo a heavy from your main combo? Well, let's take a look. I tried this morning to see what I could do with Taskmaster, and here in this video, I just finished targeting a heavy, so that is the exploit weakness. And watch this. Winter Soldier has maximum specials, and I am simply chaining heavies in the corner. Is it the same as She-Hulk's mechanic that they are about to nerf? Not exactly, no. But he has an advertised heavy mechanic built in that you can chain. Additionally, you can also chain his heavy attack because it goes unstoppable out of a combo. Absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. So, you be the judge. Is Taskmaster on the same bracket as Wasp? Should they include him or should they... Um, debug him because he shouldn't be able to do that. There's nothing in the ability that says I should be able to keep him in the corner. Right, let's look at it again. There really, I don't see anything. If Taskmaster's triggered exploit weakness in the last one second, his current exploit weakness is heavy attack. He avoids any incoming attacks for the first one second of charging this attack. It just says he avoids incoming attacks. It doesn't say I should be able to keep them in the corner the whole time. But I did. I'm not sure why. Let's take a look at everyone's new a Beyond God Tier meme champ, Ebony Maw. Now, part of Ebony Maw's kit is his persuasive voice, which 
I'm not even going to get into that because this champion is just garbage, but his heavy attacks um, have one line, and it says, landing a heavy attack steals all of the opponent's power gain buffs and 10% of their current power. That's it. It doesn't say anything else about his heavy attack. There's nothing else that actually happens. So let's take a look at what he can do against the punching bag with his heavy attack. I'm going to let this one play a little bit through, and you'll be able to see here what Ebony Maw is actually able to do. If you take notice, I'm trying to bait this special one, so I'm not wasting my attempts here. Oh, and look at that! A heavy change right from the combo. Let's see if I can try it again. I'm gonna see if I can do it with his special. Nope. Okay, so he can't do that, which she helped can't either. So not sure why they're gonna take that away. But, you know, let's see. Oh, am I chaining heavies in the corner? Yes, I am. Ebony Maw can also chain heavy attacks in the corner, and Winter Soldier, he had a special, so would I do that permanently? No. Is it safe? Not really. But I got three off in that particular example. So now he's got no power. Let's try it again. Okay. Wow. Five heavy attacks before SP1. And here we go. Combo. Heavy. I mean, guys, I don't even know what else to say. This is a new champion. He came out this year. He absolutely is garbage, but, you know, he's bugged. So let's fix him. Maybe they can make him better. I would love to be able to take this guy to Alliance Quest for actual reason, other than countering almost nothing. He's almost useless in this game at this point. I did use him once just as a joke, but, you know, that's about it. So just to double-check myself, heavy attacks, landing a heavy... Steals the opponent's power gain buffs and 10% of their current power. So he does have a little bit of an advantage over somebody like She-Hulk or even Taskmaster because every heavy reduces their power. So he can get a few more hits in before they'll get to a special and you want to so stop doing that and cycle back. Let them use their special and then do it all over again. Is it going to be a long fight? Absolutely. It's Ebony Maw. For this next one, I wanted to take one of my favorite tech champions in and just test him. So this one's a little different though, so I'm going to read this. It's uh, Sentinel with his Analysis Complete passive. While charging a heavy attack, Sentinel becomes unstoppable for 0.8 seconds. While the target is shocked, Sentinel cannot become unstoppable. Heavy attacks shock the target, dealing 1805 energy damage over 3 seconds. Mine is only rank 4. So I sped this part up, guys, because uh, Sentinel has a little bit of a different way to do this. He requires his analysis complete passive to be enabled before he gains this mechanic. Uh, so instead of boring you with me building 100 analysis charges, baiting his SP1s, um, enjoy Sentinel moving as fast as we want him to. There we go. Analysis complete. All right, here we go. Combo. Oh, look at that. Into a heavy. And I had an unstoppable buff, too. So let's try. Now he's got a shock. Let's see if we can do it again. No, nope. he backed away. So it's not that I couldn't do it. He dashed back. So let's see. Can we do it again? He's got a special. So no, couldn't do it with a special either. But so far, no champion can do it with a special that I'm aware of. Unless I miss something. All right, so he's got a shock up. Let's try it again. He has a shock and I did it. Look at that. So... I don't see anywhere in that description that Sentinel is supposed to be able to do this. And now I'm just hammering heavies. I think I got three heavy attacks off there in the corner, and he had a special one ready to go. So is it safe to do this with Sentinel? Up until they have a special ready? Yeah, absolutely. Would I do this regularly with Sentinel? Not really, no. Depending upon the circumstance, maybe. But I've been doing it for almost a year since I pulled Sentinel. This is how I would shock people. Oh, there we go again. Now, I have another example that I'm going to show you guys with Sentinel. I'm going to let you guys just watch it. I'm not going to commentate over that one um, against Captain Marvel. And that one, it's not a clean fight by any means. I was Obviously, I was rage uh, demoing to try and figure out what is it doing, what are the AI's responses looking like, and what are the requirements to be able to do this. But clearly, my frustration is 
hopefully equal to yours about what Kabam's response is back. And I want to get to a constructive point with solving problems as a community. And, you know, complaining about it really doesn't fix it. But sharing evidence does, in my opinion, and sharing, bringing it to the table um, with a solid argument and, a gr and or grievance, kind of depending upon what the circumstances are. And in this case, I believe that, you know, KT1's video earlier today, and uh, hopefully this example will help support it. So I would love to hear you guys' thoughts. Um, I really would love to take this discussion further. So do me a favor, put your thoughts, good, bad, or ugly, in the comments below. You know, just keep it clean. Um, if you want to hear more, see more in the future, I will be sharing a video about what the uh, goals of the channel are because I don't want to just be like everybody else uh, coming soon. And, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button if you want to keep following along. Like below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of this Captain Marvel video. See you later.